in the AP 2101. What happened? Someone set up us the bug. We get signal. What? Main screen turn on. It's you. How are you gentlemen? All your base are belong to us. You are on the way to destruction. What you say? You have no chance to survive make your time. Ha ha ha. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show and to my series, Japan Releases Fully Functional Female Robot Wife. Please watch the entire video. That's all I ask. You don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe, you don't have to do anything, comment, none, none of that stuff. Just watch the entire video. That's all I ask. <clears throat> That'll be your birthday gift to me. Today I want to concentrate on some new studies that actually came out. Of course, you always want to know what's going on in the the real world, right? And so we're dealing with the real reason that there are no male husband robots. And and what it sh really should be is the real reason that women have no desire to want the robot husband. Uh, everywhere you turn, there's news shows and women's groups trying to get female robot wives banned. Or they want the government to regulate them out of existence. Talking about objectifying women, when women aren't even in the picture between a man and his robot wife. As an excuse, the women always point out that their pleasure toys fit in their purse. Well, that's easily explained by a new study that was performed asking the question, why do women only use pleasure toys that fit in their purse, while men have had big blow-up dolls for ages? Finally, the question is answered, Women are different from men. Surprise! Anyone shocked? The study found that while women love and are attracted to foreplay and long talking sections to stimulate her brain, they found that wasn't the case at all when trying to please a woman. Talking and holding hands only satisfies a woman's need for attention. It has nothing to do with her pleasure centers. Crudely put, a woman is perfectly okay with a guy walking up to her, propositioning her, and wham, ban, thank you, ma'am. When talking about pleasing woman, she is very direct and practical. So her pleasure toys are direct and practical. So, all the idiot man trying to whine and dine women, only to have some dude swoop in and take her uh, behind the dumpster and have his way with her, can now understand that the dinner was never necessary. Men, on the other hand, are the exact opposite. On the surface, it appears like men are more sensitive than women, with needing big pleasure toys. The truth that everyone forgot, forgets is that men are visual. Not only that, 
men are very limited in their pleasure zones, so they need way more stimulus than women. So, a man needs the full package when he can have his desires met. A woman can literally sit on a subway, item under her skirt, and be perfectly happy. But even a homosexual man would need the full three-course meal to do him good. So, when women and the mainstream media, trying to patronize them, start talking about why does a man need a full-sized robot wife, they're speaking from a place of ignorance of women's super limited needs in the size of their pleasure toys. Bluntly, they need to just shut up, according to the research. And it's literally like a woman demanding jock straps be banned because she doesn't need one for her sports. When they say stuff like that, let's demand feminine hygiene products be banned because men don't need them. Thank you all for watching this entire video. You've been fantastic. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.